Holy hole in a donut, Batman! What was that? Okay, I gotta calm down. Anyway, today we're talking about the classic Batman TV series Blu-ray set. And by the way, the best thing about this is, check this out. Hey there guys, how are you? So today we're talking about this badass Blu-ray Batman TV set right here. Or at least that's what I like to call it. And by the way, I got a question for you. How did you like the intro to this video? I want you guys to know some inside information about that intro. It actually had a budget of $2 million. It took six months to produce, shoot, and film. Uh, yeah, none of that's true. I'm just going to shut up now. Let's talk about this. For the first time ever, you have all the Batman 120 episodes in one conclusive set on Blu-ray. And I love the way that this looks. This is exactly how it should look. It depicts the TV series perfectly. That late 1960s kind of pop art look. And let me first say this about the Batman TV show. It's pure comedic genius. Yeah, all those quippy one-liners that are over the top and campy. They knew exactly what they were doing. That's what they wanted to do. I mean, yeah, sure, throughout the TV show, Batman feels a little bit underwhelming at times. And you're just like, that's just a guy in gray spandex. And look at Robin over there. What is his purpose in life? But with all that said, I love Adam West as Batman. His interpretation as Bruce Wayne slash Batman was phenomenal, and that's what made this such an iconic cult classic. I'm Adam West. That's my Adam West impression. Okay, so the set come... Diabolical and comfortable situation? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna sit down in the, in the chair to actually show you this. I can't do it here on a stool, so yeah, let's go sit down. That's better, okay. Mm. Hydration, that's rule number one in life. All right, so before we open this up and dive into this, uh, I like the way that this, this front cover is actually cut, and I love the classic Batman uh, logo from the TV show. Like, this logo right here is really cool, but that is Batman, or at least to me. And the first thing that comes with is this booklet right here, and what this booklet does is it's kind of like an overview guide slash of every episode on the uh, on the Blu-ray discs here, so you know where to find a certain episode. And the next thing it comes with is this little hardback booklet right here, and this is what I like to call good toilet reading material. Like, you, you leave this in the bathroom for a lonely, cold, rainy day when you have nothing better to do, or maybe the battery on your smartphone died and you can't take it with you, and you read through this, and it has some really good, interesting tidbits and information. It's got uh, a lot of pictures and information about production and the marketing of the TV show. Okay, so let's dive into the good stuff here. Uh, now here's the Blu-ray discs. This is how they organize them, and I appreciated the way that they did this. So first of all, here's the first one. It comes in like this little fold-out booklet right here, and this is just season number one. They put season number one on three discs, and I like that they did that. They didn't try to cram every single episode on like two discs and say, here you go. They didn't compress the video quality or audio quality, and uh, yeah, I like when they did that. So they sparsed that how they should have, and by the way, um, the picture quality on the Batman TV series set, it looks phenomenal. I don't think it's possible to make this thing look any better than they did. They cleaned it up, but they stayed true to how it actually looked. They didn't clean it up too much to where everyone looks like they're made out of plastic. Yeah, and the same thing goes for season number two and three of the TV show. All 120 episodes are right here in this set. And by the way, the great thing about this set or any classic TV show from the 1960s, they shot those shows on film. That way, the restoration is only going to bring out how great the image quality actually was. Unlike TV shows from like the 1980s and 1990s, where they actually shot the majority of them on videotape, classic shows are actually shot on film. The same thing movies are shot on. So their image quality can only be enhanced with like digital restoration. So anyway, that's just one little tidbit. And by the way, look at Catwoman right there looking at you. Meow. I have a weird fascination with women from the 1960s. Or at least women wearing black leather jumpsuits with cat ears on. Things are just getting creepy now. So anyway, I'll continue on with the set here. Uh, you got these little art cards here. Uh, I'll show you a few of them here. And I, by the way, I love classic artwork like this. It's like, just look at this. Look how awesome that is. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we have the Batmobile, the classic Batmobile, Hot Wheels memorabilia, uh, little uh, toy car here. I'm gonna slide this thing out. Not the first time I've had to say that. 
All right, so look at that. Look how detailed that is. That's just really awesome. And the thing you have to respect about the 1960s Batman TV show is they went for it. I mean, this was the first time we actually seen a good live action version of Batman. And you know what? I still stand by this. The classic Batman TV show is better than Batman and Robin. Yeah, that's a fact. So yeah, that's the classic Batman TV series Blu-ray set, and overall, I think they did a really good job with this. Here's the back of it, here's the sides, and by the way, here's the little button you push for the theme song. Just one more time. I love the theme song to the original Batman TV show. It just, it puts you in a good mood. Never again will I do that. And by the way, if you want a closer look at this Blu-ray set right here, I put a link down below in the description box. If you want to pick one up for yourself, that's the cheapest price. That's where I recommend picking it up. Or if you just want some more details on the specs of the set. So anyway, guys, here's my question to you. What do you think about classic Batman TV shows? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Would you want to be Batman from the 1960s? Or which Batman would you want to be? I don't think a lot of people are going to say the George Clooney version of Batman. If I had to pick one... I might go with Christian Bale's Batman from the Dark Knight. Yeah, I want to be able to turn my head when I back out of the driveway. So anyway, guys, yeah, leave your thoughts, your opinions down below. And by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my Interstellar movie review. Yeah, it gets a little bit deep and complex at times. Anyway, I'll put a link to that down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.